All right, this is EAC. This is what most people on Windows use to uh, rip CDs. And before you rip it, you got to get all this track information filled out, but you don't want to do this by hand. So the easiest way to do it is this: um, these DB plugins. There's the free DB, which is one where you can change it to point to a third party database. There's the built-in or the Qtools one that's built into the program and it doesn't work very well for like uh, Japanese or video game stuff. And then there's FreeDB, but this one does not work anymore because um, VD, the FreeDB got shut down in 2019. So that button is just dead now, it gets an error. And so if you want to use the FreeDB one, you need to configure it to go look at the video game database web page. That's the best bet for uh, Japanese albums or anime albums, video game albums. To do that, go to the EAC menu and then metadata. And for metadata, change it to FreeDB and then for here, just put any email address. It doesn't have to be a real email address, it just has to be something. And then here you put the URL for the BGMDB uh, server. And to get that, you click, um, you go here to the VGMDB webpage and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And they have the information here. So there's the English version, and then the uh, different Japanese versions, and the Romaji. And what it'll do is it'll kind of, you put your preferred one, and then if it doesn't have it in that language, it'll look for the other languages and give it to you. So if you, if you do the, the, like the Japanese UTF-8, um, my understanding is it will only do that one. But then if you do the English, it will try to do English, and if if that doesn't work, but there is Japanese, it'll go for that as well. And then Romaji, or it might even go for the Romaji next. So it just, it tries to go backwards until it finds something. So you fill that out and then you click this button and it's gonna say, it's gonna delete everything, say yes. And it didn't find the album. Now, this album does exist on the web page, but the problem is that um, you'll you'll probably find this a lot if you try to use this CDDB plugin. Is that the way the system works is that it takes the number of tracks and then it takes the time of these tracks and it puts it all together and it creates a unique fingerprint. But if somebody filled out this page slightly incorrect i mean like if one of these tracks is one second off then the fingerprint doesn't match and so it won't pull up this information and you can see that nobody has ever accessed this through free db um, it's here but it just as far as the free db is concerned it's not here because it's not the right uh, fingerprint so we can still get this information straight off this page right here. And what we need to do, or what I do, is I use Notepad++ and I have a macro that I recorded and it will convert it into the right format. And what we need to do is get rid of um, the track number and the time whenever we copy and paste this. And so if you copy this whole thing, just the tracks and the time, copy that, and then paste it into Notepad++. So we got the whole thing. And then I have a macro here called BGMDB track format. And I click that. And what it did was it went in and did a bunch of edits and it got rid of the track number and the time that was on the end. So now we just have 37 lines and each line is a different track name. If we copy that, all that, and then go over to EAC, and then database, get CD information from clipboard, 
and it's going to delete everything again, say yes, and OK. And so now we've got 37 tracks that all have names. And then for the stuff at the top, um, you'll just have to copy and paste that in yourself. But that's not too bad. And then get the name here. Um, let's see, the year, this was 2005, okay, and then it's anime, and then for the comment field, what I like to do is put the catalog ID so that when I load this up in FUBAR 2000, it'll transfer over as a catalog ID, and the way I fix that so that it's not a comment field is you go to EAC and then compression options and for your flat here uh, what you want to do is scroll over and you should eventually see a comment field okay so you'll see this the percent sign comment percent and what and this will probably say comment here and you can change this I use catalog as the the tag ID in FUBAR 2000. Um, I think if you're used to QTools, I believe it's called label no. But you can use whatever else you want. And so that will reassign the comment field to catalog field when you open it in FUBAR. And then the other thing you want to fix if you're in here is I believe this album artist tag. I think Normally, FUB, uh, EAC, instead of album artist right here, it puts something else, like, I can't remember what it's called, but it doesn't show up right in FUBAR. It'll just call it something else or ignore it. And hit OK. And so that's how you can extract these things really easily straight from VGMDB. Now, if VGMDB doesn't have it, um, chances are iTunes will have it. If you put this disk into iTunes, iTunes has access to the uh, Grace Note, which is like the official commercial version of CVDB. But normally, uh, normal consumers don't have access to it because you have to pay for it. And so this will pull it all up and what you can do is um, if you click that first line the first track and then shift click that will do all of them and then copy and then again paste that into uh, notepad plus plus here and then I have a macro that will fix all of this and it's called um, iTunes track listing and there we go it went through and it trimmed it all out and it extracted the album and the artist um, in this case it, it has the Japanese the kanji version so you would want to change that and then this is just for reference when you start copying and pasting it over you'll have it all on one page and you can again take that copy it and then database get CD so if this was blank if I had um, you know again if it was blank here do get CD information from clipboard say yes okay so there it got all that and then I have the titles artist up here So anyway, so it go like that and you fill out the rest and uh, iTunes doesn't have catalog ID, but you can still get that from other sources. If you have the physical CD, it'll probably be printed on the spine or on the disc or something. Um, as far as these macros, uh, I have put these onto um, Pastebin and I will put the addresses in the comments for the video and then the way to 
implement these is um, close out notepad plus plus and then you can take that and then hit uh, win R and then paste it in there and hit OK and that will open the folder and then edit this shortcuts file uh, don't use notepad plus plus open it with just like regular notepad and what you'll want to do is if you don't have this in here um, so like I'll delete that one and so uh, don't don't put it after this final one that says macros but the one just if you have a macro in there put it after this and then Uh, so don't copy this part where it has the line numbers because there's a lot of extra spaces in the lines here. Go scroll down till you get to this raw paste data and then highlight that, copy it, and then paste it into that line. And so I'm going to just change the name real quick so you can see where it shows up. Save it. Okay, and then now when you go to macro, you see now there's a, that's where you put it in there. And then, so then the position that you paste it within that shortcuts file is where it will show up in this list. So if you wanted it at the top or in the middle or wherever you want it, just change the position of the, those lines, the content of the, the shortcuts.xml file. And then the other thing with that CDDB issue or with the uh, VGMDB issue, the way you can fix that is you select these tracks. Um, I don't know if you have to actually select all of them. And then, um, yeah, export CD information to clipboard. And then, so put that on here. So now you've got, just make sure you have one line for each track. And then, so copy that. And we go here and then, yeah, you'll have to be logged in to edit it. So let's see here. Okay, so here I'm logged in. And then what you'll do is you'll go to edit. And then, um, oh wait, no, I think you scroll down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down here, yeah, edit track list. And it's this, it's this side over here that you wanna deal with, not, not this side. The, the, right, the left-hand side, leave that one alone. Come over here. Control A and then paste. And then what you would do is you would say transfer length only. And what this will do is it will just transfer these minutes and seconds over to the songs over here. Um, I'd really would suggest don't do the titles and stuff because they're, you know, they're. They're pretty picky here. So if you change the times, just do that. And then you'll say, um, scroll down to the bottom and say, submit track list. And then the next thing you wanna do is once you do that, um, you'll wanna go to discuss and put a message here saying why you changed the time because I have, found that again the people on here are really picky and if they're if they see that you changed a song by like one second they're going to delete it because they're going to say well that's stupid that's a waste of time they're not going to realize that you were doing this so that the cddb functionality will work so what you want to do 
is you want to say, you know, change track times to enable CDDB functionality. And then that way they'll know what you were doing and then post the message. And then hopefully, if you're lucky, they won't undo your changes, but most of the time they do for me. Anyways, that's it.